Cinema 4D Release 13 includes a number of enhancements to the way you interact with objects and components that can dramatically speed up your modeling workflow. The centerpiece of these enhancements is a redesigned access tool that offers additional flexibility and feedback while removing some visual clutter. You can enable the new access guides to get a better idea of where the object is positioned in 3D space relative to other objects. The white box at the center of the axis has been removed in the Move, Scale, and Rotate tools because it was redundant, and there's now a visible gap in the axis lines in component mode so you can more easily see the selected element. The axis bands have also been redesigned and moved away from the center of the axis. Each axis handle dynamically changes its length so that whenever possible, all of the handles appear in the view. There's also a new infinite axis mode that allows you to adjust the length of any axis handle by control right clicking. When combined with 3D snapping, this allows you to easily snap the axis handle to one component, then move, scale, or rotate to snap that surface to a second component. With multiple objects selected, you can now enable per object manipulation so that each object moves, scales, or rotates around its own axis instead of a single axis. This makes it easy to do things like curl a joint chain of fingers, for instance. Release 13 now allows you to define the rotation order for an object, and the new gimbling rotation option makes it much easier to visualize the behavior of each rotation axis and identify situations where gimbal lock may occur because the individual axis bands shift to display the actual plane of rotation. The axis mode now works as a toggle in conjunction with the object, model, and component modes. You can now click on any component to instantly snap the axis to that location. Within the object and model modes, the axis itself is adjusted. In point, edge, and polygon modes, this toggle allows you to quickly reposition the modeling axis. This makes it easy to intuitively place the axis where you need it without switching modes. With sticky keys in release 13, the process is even more streamlined. You can simply hold down the L key and click to reposition the axis, then release the L key to continue modeling. Objects and components can now be tweaked directly without the need for a separate tweak mode. Tweaking occurs whenever there's nothing selected, and is restricted to the active component mode. Nudging components with the arrow keys is now more intuitive because it takes into account the current orientation of the camera, and the amount of movement is determined by the distance from the camera. Also, the nudge commands are now listed in the command manager, so you can assign a different shortcut or reassign the arrow keys to another command. Holding down the control key while moving, scaling, or rotating objects and points now creates a copy. Within edge and polygon modes, it performs an extrusion. The option to move a parent without its children, which was previously available by pressing control, is now a command with a user-definable shortcut. You can now easily select an edge loop by simply double-clicking over an edge within edge mode. In polygon mode, double-clicking now selects all connected polygons. In edge or polygon mode, holding down control and shift while clicking a component will select a path between that element and the last selected element. The HyperNURBS object features a new algorithm that offers better weighting and is faster in many cases. The new algorithm creates a much smoother result between creases and when point and edge weighting are used together. Although Cinema 4D Release 13 doesn't directly address any individual modeling tools, the dramatic changes to navigation and object manipulation can dramatically speed up and enhance the overall modeling workflow.